DPP present here, uh, the chair of NACADA, DCI, distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen, good afternoon. Mine is sincerely to thank the team of DCI for a very good job done. This, as it is stated from uh, the briefing this morning, it's a consignment which was captured back in 2016. And up to today, that marks almost three plus uh, some months while this consignment is in safe custody within the DCI. Dr. Massa and your team Ian, that is, that is a true testimony that integrity within this department, it is excellent. Asante Nisana. I'm very sure us as National Police Service would not have been able to go up to this far if we were not able to work with the members of public. The success of this operation has been partly by the information shared by the members of the public. Mine is to thank all the parties who are involved in this process and the information which was supplied to the, the police officers, which led to the arrest and capture of this consignment. And again, continue appealing to the members of public that the police, the National Police Service will only succeed to these complicated crimes if we partner with the members of public. Shukran sana, and I continue urge the members of public to continue supporting the police so that we can pro provide the best services in terms of ensuring your safety and security. With those few remarks, I will take this opportunity to invite DPP also to make his remarks and then invite the chief guest, CS. Karibu DPP. Uh, DCI and distinguished guests here today, good afternoon. Um, <clears throat> Honorable CS, um, 
I am I'm humbled to be here today um, to see the completion of this process, which had begun in 2016. Um, and I had actually followed through before I even became the DPP. Now that I'm the DPP, and I've come to witness the destruction um, of uh, um, exhibits that were involved in a criminal um, process. Honorable CS, a lot has been said about our ability, uh, as both as uh, investigators and prosecutors, in bringing cases that do not have evidence or in, 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 in processing cases that are weak. But I think this is evidence enough to show that we, had, we have the evidence, it was overwhelming, we had the exhibits, and that those who doubt the police, um, if it was in any other jurisdiction, these drugs would have, be, would have disappeared. Uh, and today, we would not have been here to witness this ceremony and to ask you to come and, and grace the occasion. And I'm saying this because there have been a lot of accusations against the police and the prosecutors and even the judiciary. But uh, Honorable CS, I think you've seen that interagency cooperation and international cooperation, because we worked with uh, the DEA from the US, we worked with the National um, Crime Agency from the UK, and uh, um, that cooperation um, resulted in uh, these drugs being intercepted, even though they came all the way from Brazil. They were initially actually destined for Spain. They did not manage to detect it in Spain. Whoever wanted the drugs did not manage to access them in Spain. They were, they were then transferred from Spain to Oman. They were not detect, detected there. But uh, when this came to Kenya, our very able officers were able to detect and intercept it successfully. And this speaks volumes, uh, Honorable CS. And the public needs to acknowledge that even though we have our weaknesses as a, as, as a country, we also have our strengths that must be recognized, even within the police and um, the security organs. Um, Honorable CS, these drugs remained in the custody of the DCI as is envisaged in law. And I don't want to look like I'm politicizing issues, but we did take action against the magistrate in Mombasa simply because he refused to have these drugs to remain in the custody of the DCI who has the capability and means of ensuring that they are well secured. Drugs, explosive, arms, these are things that the judiciary cannot keep in custody and must be kept um, by um, the DCI, who has strong rooms and, 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 and security to secure them. And we are happy that the Honorable Judge um, observed this. And this is how we should be working together. And when that is pointed out, it should not, when a mistake is pointed out, it should not look like we are witch hunting. Um, but we are trying to put systems in place and integrity in the process. And that is what we need to, to, to ensure that we have. And this is part of a system that has integrity and that uh, chance the right results that we want. So with those few words, Honorable CS, I want to take this opportunity to welcome you um, uh, to grace this occasion. Thank you. Of 
first drop, still remains clear. The second drop returns blue, so that one indicates presence of cocaine. Or, so I'll do the same for the three. That's the control sample. That's the control sample. Yes. So we'll do the same for this. That's blue. Yes. That's an indication of cocaine is present. Yes. But I'll just, for clarification, I'll do here. The reagents are different. Yes. So if there is any urine, I'll expect it to turn uh, purplish. I'll see another color change. One, two, three. Three drops. I can't see any color change, so it means there's no presence of heroin. So this kit is able to test more drugs. I was, I only, we isolated the two today. But I can also test this one with my control. The heroin. And the second reagent. It is turning purplish to bluish. You can see the purplish color. It means there is heroin in that stand, uh, standard that I came with. So that is a preliminary test. After this, we normally take it to the further test if we want to confirm. But this is an indication that there is cocaine in this lab that we have tested. Thank you. Okay, the court has confirmed from that sample sampling that. And uh, they had also put that part inside there. Block. I request the members of the press to move us slightly aside to add each block to Sheila.
Wacha tuzitoe, ziwe display di leo mje mwa kuhota program ma kumpuro. Misawa kwa 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 Before we start the weighing exercise, so cut this one. Cut this one, then display. Oruko. So we we'll pick one slab at pick one slab at one. Okay? And you can pierce it on the sugar. Right, thank you. We are going to take three samples and compare with our own control that you came with. Now we also have we also have a control sample. We'll also run together with the test sample.